Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady. I am so excited about this Celebrate Today set. I saw it in the catalog and I was like, it's okay, and, but I want to try it out. I have been having just a blast making birthday cards with this set. It is not only for birthday, but that's what I've made mostly. You can also do um, graduation and wedding and baby with it. So I have to venture off into some of those areas, but so far I've been doing birthday. So I love this little image to do kind of like the streamers. So with my background piece, to do those streamers, I use this image here, and I will do, let's do the Calypso Coral streamers first. I am stamping over my stamp and pierce pad. It does help get a nicer image with the photopolymer stamps. Okay, I need to clean that off. And lastly, let's add some of those Bermuda Bay streamers in there. And it just kind of feels like a party. Okay, so we have the background. Let's take in the word celebrate and with Knight of Navy, add that celebrate sentiment to the bottom. And then I can add this to my background, the Bermuda Bay piece here for my background. And there's my piece. Now for my background, I have a piece of 11 inches by four and a quarter inches, scored at five and a half inches and folded in half. And then I have a piece of designer series paper from the birthday bash paper and it's five and a half inches by one and a half. And I can just place that down. If my bottom edge doesn't line up exactly with the bottom edge of my cardstock base, I'll just trim that off after I'm done. Here's a length of the narrow or the 1 8 inch Bermuda Bay taffeta ribbon. I pull in that little mini stapler and just staple that too. You can also use mini glue dots or whatever adhesive. I'm going to do this end first whatever adhesive you would like. I thought the staple was just kind of a fun way to attach it. There we go. And then I'll just trim off my extras when I get done. I put mini glued our dimensionals on the back here. This will give this a little bit of lift and pick up from the card front. Now we need to do our balloon. So I'm going to do the balloon and the tassels. Let's do a crushed curry balloon. And it doesn't matter if I'm straight or not because I am going to cut this out with the coordinating die. Let's also put a balloon on the inside once I have my balloon image here. I'm going to put a balloon in the center here of the inside of my card. There we go. On the front balloon, inked with Bermuda Bay, I have the little stars image and it adds some of the stars to the front. Add some interest to that. On my inside, I'm also going to stamp happy. And then with Knight of Navy, let's put that, there it is, the birthday. And that will be my inside sentiment, just right inside there. So now there's this image that comes straight. Um, when it comes, it's a straight line for your, for a, I don't know, you know, for like a string or for a pole, uh, some kind of stick to put that on. Well, I don't want my string to go straight because they don't usually go straight so I've kind of placed it down it with a curve with the photopolymer right onto my block and what's great is that that little curve will when I pick it up after I clean it off and put it back onto my storage it'll just go right back to straight so that's a really nice benefit of the photopolymer is that you can bend those and add a little bow so there's my inside sentiment 
and we'll let that dry. So while I've got the bow out, I want to do a bow, and then I want to do two of the tassels in Bermuda Bay. Okay. So I have my sentiment and the bow and the two tassels. Now there are dies in the coordinating, or the, and if you get the, you can get this at a bundle for a 15% discount. So there are coordinating dies to line up with your little images and there's also a tassel one. So you run these through your die cutting machine and, or your Big Shot which is what I use. Run those through and that will cut all of those out but I've cut some out ahead of time. So let's pull these in and pull in that card base again. Put down some adhesive here. I'm just going to place that up in the corner. You could use some liquid adhesive or a mini glue dot to put down your tassels. So let's put that down. And then the second tassel, I want to put the mini glue dot on the top of it because I'm just going to tuck that underneath like that. And if your mini glue dot is too big to fit behind it, you could always uh, fold it over just to make it a little smaller so it doesn't poke out. My last step is to just trim off that extra ribbon at the top and whatever's extra here at the bottom. Isn't that fun? I just It's just a fun card. I know that I will enjoy having my kids have this available to give when they go to a party. If you have any questions about what I've done or making the photopolymer kind of curve, let me know. You can send me an email, chris at mystamplady.com. And all of these products are available in my online store at shopwithmystamplady.com. Thanks for watching.